Welcome back if you've been watching my mini series all about checkerboard flooring. And if this is your first time tuning in, you may wanna go catch up on my other videos and blog posts. You can find them all on my YouTube channel and blog at tidbits-cami.com. For this final video, I wish to direct you to some of the options for buying tile that could work to get this checkerboard look. Now, I'm sure there are endless possibilities out there, but I wanna direct you to the ones that particularly stood out to me as I was looking, just to maybe give you some initial direction for combinations and sources that might work for you. So I will be sure to link you directly to the tiles that I found in the description and on my blog. So first up, let's look quickly at the options you could do if you are in a tight budget but really want to bring this look into your home. Don't underestimate the idea of painting on a checkerboard look. Some painted floors I've seen have been incredible, like this darling washroom. Those floors were the perfect choice for the space and it looks almost like they were painted on a concrete floor. But I've also seen this done on old wood floors and um, it looks great painted. Now, I love seeing how my friend over at Wildflowers Home Blog just painted her tile in her already tiled kitchen to get this incredible checkered floor look. You'll have to go check that out. I've even seen some vinyl pill and stick tile work as a fantastic option for something like a walk-in pantry. I saw it over at Cherished Bliss Blog, so go and check out where my friend Ashley got this fantastic vinyl tile for a super quick and affordable DIY. So there's just some quick encouragement. If buying new tile isn't currently an option for you, you can definitely get the look for less. Okay, now I'm going to share some checkerboard tile combinations that I found, and I will link you to some great sources to just jumpstart your own shopping. Now, I actually found it a bit of a challenge to find a lot of options because rectangle tiles are really trending right now. So it's a little more difficult to find square tiles for the checkerboard look. But alas, I dug and dug and have 11 ideas for you. Just keep in mind, this is what was available while I was creating this content. I imagine some sources may change and I will try to keep my links current, but I hope it will still serve as some great inspiration and direction for you through the years. First up, let's look at real stone and marble options. I'll share my exact selection for our mudroom slash office area. I found the most perfect honed black and white marble. The price was very reasonable compared to many of the other options I found while looking for honed marble. I'm very happy with these 12 by 12 squares and the lovely authentic marble look they have brought to my space. I love the subtle veining in the black stone and I'm always a fan of Carrera marble and this batch of tiles we received were just perfect. So that's from Stone Tile Depot. I will link what I got below. Now, while I went for a black and white contrast, I also found some beautiful 12 by 12 gray and white marble options for you. I've seen several spaces with the gray and white checkerboard floor that um, I love, and it actually made it difficult for me to choose between which color combo I wanted. Now, if you want a real stone in an 18 by 18 tile, this gray stone tile is stunning. I love how pronounced the veining and the variation is in this gray marble. If you loved the polished stone look, I found Home Depot has these two very beautiful options for you. In 12 by 12 squares, that black stone with a very pronounced white veining would be a show stopper in any room. All right, that was the marble and stone. So now let's look at some porcelain tiles, which can be a little more affordable option, generally, but not always. But from what I saw, they have done an amazing job of making porcelain look quite authentic. So here are some of my favorites. Now, if you can get away with a tile size of 30 by 30, I think this very realistic looking tile is for you. I love the matte finish and there are actually many color variations to choose from in this line. You can see how these look in the home of the bloggers at Chris Loves Julia. It's even more surprising that I found these tiles to be so affordable. So those are a great option. I also found these slightly smaller 24 by 24 tiles that are pretty convincing when it comes to looking like real stone. 
with several color shades, you could find a variety of combos to create a very unique checkerboard floor in your home. Here is another selection of 24 by 24 porcelain tiles for a pretty gray and white checkerboard floor. And I think they're a great price point too. Okay, I found a line of beautiful 18 by 18 porcelain tiles at Home Depot that were such a great price. And this is likely what I would have picked to save on our space, but they just weren't available at the time or for my location. It just wasn't an option. So it's worth it for you to go and check them out and see if it is for you and see if they're available. Um, you can see how they look in the home of the blogger, um, Naomi Bjork, I believe is how you would say that. All right, if you're looking to get creative on the color and type of tiles, I think this brown and off-white tile choice from Home Depot would look super pretty, especially if you're going for kind of an organic old world um, vibe. I also found some really textured travertine and black slate tiles that were the same size. I've never seen it done, but I think it could be a really beautiful combination if you're open to kind of thinking outside of the black and white box. You could create some very unique looking checkerboard floors with a travertine and slate. Finally, I discovered some checkerboard tiles that come in sheets with four eight inch squares and the grout lines are already like scored in there to make insulation go a little quicker. And they were definitely designed to help you get that checkerboard look. There is an option for um, the classic marble tile look and then some more like rustic black and white tiles that already kind of have patina um, placed on the porcelain. Now, I might have gone this route actually, but they were more expensive <laughs> per square foot than the actual authentic marble tiles that I did end up going with. So it's just kind of all over the place, but that wraps up your shopping experience for checkerboard tiles and this fun six day series that I've done to cover as much information and inspiration as I could find to help you design your own checkerboard floors. I would love to hear what you think about this series and this approach to sharing content and kind of diving deeper into a topic. I really enjoy doing that myself. So your feedback will definitely help me as I plan for future projects and content. As always, you can find me on my blog at tidbits camicom and I would love to have you subscribe there or to my channel if you're not already. Thanks again for watching. And of course, I will be back to share more inspiration for do-it-yourself living.